Hello and welcome. Now yet another important topic. Many times I, I keep getting calls from students asking for how to negotiate our entry level salary, sir. What to say? And, and time and again I have been telling them there are three good ways. But today I wanted to go beyond and talk it exhaustively. So let's try and understand as to how this can be negotiated. Entry level salary for most of the freshers. Salary negotiation is a valuable skill for entry level candidates to exercise. While asking for more money can feel uncomfortable, negotiation can have the gratifying payoff of higher pay in exchange for your skills and hard working attitude. So it's important to overcome this discomfort, learning how to negotiate an entry level salary that can help you learn bargaining techniques in a crude language for achieving the pay rate you want. In this particular shoot, we'll define an entry level salary negotiation, list steps to help you negotiate your first salary and offer tips for effective salary negotiation. So let's get into it. What is an entry level salary negotiation? A salary negotiation is a process of bargaining between an employer and a candidate or an employee on compensation for the job. At the entry level, you can negotiate for a higher salary or more benefits with a hiring manager or human resources representative to achieve a salary that reflects your skills and education level. How to negotiate your first salary? Here are some steps that you can possibly take to come to an agreement on a salary for your first job. Prepare for negotiation. How would you do it? You can prepare for salary negotiation as you apply to jobs by researching entry level salaries for your industries. Research can help you form a realistic but competitive pay rate to keep in mind during the job application process. You can search for your desired job title on several career websites to get a reasonable range that you can use to negotiate your salary. It's important to get a salary range rather than a single salary example in order to make well informed decisions about your pay later in the negotiation process. So packages, their windows, that becomes very important. For example, a candidate for data science jobs may use Indeed salaries and other website to develop an acceptable pay range of, let's say I'm just quoting an example, five to six lakh per month as a package per year. So that has to be kept in mind. Now, the second thing is interview for a job. The next step in salary negotiation is to begin the interview process for a job. Some jobs may have one round of interviews while more competitive entry level positions may have several interview rounds. It's likely that an employer will communicate the job's compensation and benefits during the interview process. If possible, it's best to wait until you receive a formal job offer before committing to a salary. Here's an example scenario to help you prepare for an entry level salary negotiation in the interview process for a job in data science. How would you quote it? Interviewer says, we are prepared to offer the new team member a salary of let's say 8, eight lakhs rupees per year. How does that sound? Candidate response should be, oh, that is in the range I would consider. So you should just keep it for the final stage for negotiation. But when you say it, make it a relative term, right? I hope you've got it. This answer is polite yet non-committal. See, non-committal is the word allowing the interview process to continue. It also leaves room for negotiation to continue later in the process after the candidate receives an offer letter. Number three is receive an offer letter. So what do you do? An offer letter shows that you are a candidate who possesses an employer's desired knowledge, skills and attitude. This is the ideal time to begin negotiation your salary because you have proven yourself to be desirable entry level candidate during the interview process. In response to an offer letter, you can thank the employer for their consideration and ask whether there is room to negotiate your entry level salary. Number four, begin a negotiation. How would you do that? You can use your knowledge of a job's benefits and pay scale as well as your salary research to negotiate your entry level salary. 
One strategy is to ask for a slightly higher rate than you would be willing to take. For example, you can counter, let's say, 4.5 lakh per year offer with 5.4 lakh. If you want to make it, let's say, uh, a rounded 4.5 to 5 lakh, maybe, right? Round it off and you are wanting to, you know, round it off to 50,000 more and make it as 5 lakh. So that sounds absolutely okay. One of the most effective technique for entry level salary negotiation is to cite a quantifiable reason that your performance deserves a higher salary. For example, how can you do it? I was so happy to receive your offer letter. I'm interested in the job, but I was wondering whether you could consider paying 20% more. Considering my experience with automating processes during my three data science internship that increased productivity by 30% for the teams involved. Now keep in mind that salary negotiations can be back and forth conversation. Keep your target number in mind to keep you stay calm and focus during entry level salary negotiations. Sixth, compromise. In response to your negotiation techniques, an employer can do one of the three things to reach a compromise in salary negotiation. What they can do possibly accept your counter offer. An employer may accept your counter offer outright and you would have successfully negotiated your salary. Now the scene or the scenario number two could be respond to your counter offer. Another possibility is that the employer may respond with a new salary that's higher than the first offer, but lower than the salary you asked for. You can either counter again or accept this offer to reach a compromise. That's precisely respond to your counter offer, but not adequately to what you have asked. Now, decline to raise the salary is the third option, which many of the employers they do. But in this scenario, the employer has a strict salary they must stick to for a new employee. And that's the reason they abruptly, they uh, bluntly tell it to the employee. You can weigh the salary against the likelihood of finding another entry level position to decide whether you will accept the job or not. Many of the students, they are clever and they do it. It's important to remain professional and respectful during salary negotiations to leave a good impression. If you decide to decline the job offer based on the salary, you can do so with grace to show you appreciate the job offer. For example, how would you quote it in front of an interviewer? I have decided to continue on my job search to find a job that better meets my salary needs. Thank you for the opportunity to interview for the job at your company. Let's keep in touch. So salary negotiation tips. Let's come down to the most important part of this particular shoot. Below, let's see what could be. So ask the right question. What is the best way to ask the right question? Now you can ask an interviewer, what is the pay range for this particular position? This can help you understand the extent to which you can bargain for more money. It can also help you begin an informed salary negotiation process. Don't commit to a low salary, which many of the students not seeing a obvious second job coming very soon, they commit and they let go the power of negotiation with them. So I'm letting you to be accounted, stay there and do something for yourself. If a company communicates a lower salary range during the interview process, then you would like, it's important not to commit to a lower salary until you have taken the chance to negotiate. So I'm encouraging you all, this can keep you in the running for a job without committing to a salary that's too low. Now this leaves the possibility for negotiation a higher salary later in the interview process. Most important about negotiation is to bring up your value, your strengths. And how would you do it? Sell your skills and accomplishments. Especially during an entry level salary negotiation, it's important to show employers why you deserve to be paid more. You can give examples of your accomplishments and their effects to help show your word to the company. For example, if you are interviewing for a social media coordinator job, you can demonstrate your word during salary negotiation by describing a specific social media campaign you led for the company during an internship. You can describe your role in the ca campaign, the strategies you used and results of the campaign. Consider other compensation factors. 
salary isn't only form of compensation you can receive from the job here are some other forms of compensation that you can possibly look at tuition reimbursement if an employee is unwilling to pay you more because you lack certain skills you can negotiate tuition reimbursement as you take classes to gain those skills this can show an employer that you are motivated to improve in your career while allowing you to gain valuable knowledge mileage reimbursement if you are interviewing for a job with a long commute you can ask for a reimbursement to help you pay for your transportation cost remote work another way to negotiate a long commute is to ask an employer about the possibility of working remotely for a part of a week this won't necessarily cost more for an employer and can be a compromise for a lower salary flexible schedule if you are caregiver or new parent you can ask a potential employer about options for working a flexible schedule this is another compromise that can help make a lower paying job more attractive vacation time another benefit to negotiate is vacation pay more vacation days may make a job with a lower salary more attractive depending on your lifestyle now avoid imposter syndrome imposter syndrome during a job search is the experience of believing that your skills and experience aren't important or valuable it's important to remember your worth as you embark on salary negotiations reflecting confidence in your abilities in your resume cover letter and during job interviews can help you avoid underselling your accomplishments as a result of imposter syndrome confidence is your abilities and that can help you to sell your qualification as well now position yourself as an answer to a problem another entry level salary negotiation technique is to identify a problem the company or industry is facing and offer a solution how would you do it answer i know one challenge in the sales industry is time management and finding ways for sales reps or executive to spend more time selling i am already familiar with your sales software which would cut down on training time and allow me to start selling faster based on this we would be able to pay me let's say a 50000 more per year instead of only 20000 or 30000 you can always give a comparative chart and bring this to bring this to the fore so i hope by uh, allowing ourselves a chance of a good negotiation never let yourself your value go down and in case if you have understood all of what i have said just now i think it will make a lot of sense by understanding and jotting down your own answer be best prepared thank you